Okay, so today we're doing web scraping 101. Got it? I certainly do. So yeah, that's essentially what we're going to do. I'm going to try to make this as interesting to watch as possible. And uh, this is basically just based on popular demand. A lot of people have been asking me constantly to make a tutorial on how to web scrape with Python. So this is it. Let's go. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is check that we have Python installed and what version we're working with. If you don't have it, then install it. Next, we create a virtual environment in Python. Type in Python dash m venv followed by the name of the environment that you want to create i'll call it env now start your virtual environment on mac you type in source env slash bin slash activate and on windows you type in env slash scripts slash activate next we need to install selenium so pip install selenium done Okay, now we need to create a file called webscraper.py and in Mac or Linux, you would only type in touch webscraper.py. But since this is Windows, you got to Google and spend five minutes looking for a simple answer to the simple question, how do I create a file in the Windows command prompt? Until your detective-like investigation finally leads you to some obscure forum post from like 2003, where it says that you type in echo dot and then this weird greater than or less than symbol webscraper.py. And that, my friends, is why Windows sucks. Try Linux or Mac and you can thank me later. Next, we need to open up the file that we just created. And like a child who got burned by playing with matches, I could not be bothered going down the rabbit hole of trying to find the right command for opening up a file in Windows. I can only imagine how difficult Windows must make that. So I opened it up the old fashioned way, by clicking. After doing this, I decided that I wanted to see how Windows actually deals with opening up files. And I realized that for once, Windows does it slightly better. You only type in the file name and hit enter and then it opens. Anyway, now let's write some code. Import the web driver. Now let's get the URL for the site to scrape. You can paste in Vim by holding control and right clicking. Now we also need to download the Chrome driver for this to work. Check which version of Chrome you're running and then find the right version of the Chrome driver. My Chrome version is 86, so this one should work. Next, you may need to provide the path to your Chrome driver. The best way to do this is just to move it into the directory that you're going to be working in. I'll do this with a simple drag and drop. Nice. Now you're ready to start scraping. Head over to the page you want to scrape, YouTube in this case. Press Ctrl Shift and C or Command Shift C on Mac to inspect the page. Find the element that you're looking for and click on it. Sometimes it's pretty tricky finding the right item, so this can take some tries. Start with copying the X path and if that doesn't work, then try the full X path. And if that doesn't work, then go through the HTML like this and see if there's a sub element that you need to select. In this case, I can see that this other element says href something and href is basically a link. So that is probably what we're looking for since I'm guessing that this is the link to the video. Right click and copy the xpath. Now let's use the web drivers find element by xpath method and paste the xpath that you copied. Next, we can try the dot click command to see what happens. Let's run this. And it works. Okay, and now I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by .tech Domains. A lot of people are moving towards more innovative ways of creating domain names, basically choosing a domain name that is relevant for the company. If you work in tech, it makes sense to have a .tech domain. I always try to look for sponsors that I think can give you value and that are doing innovative things. .tech Domains ticks all those boxes. Starting right now and ending on the 2nd of December, they're doing a Mr. Beast style campaign where you can win prizes worth up to $20,000. The really cool part is that all you need to do in order to have a chance to win is play their game. 
The game is built for programmers, hackers and problem solvers. If you want to show off your skills, then solve the problems and win some epic prizes, like a $5,000 gaming rig, 13-inch MacBook Pro, 49-inch Samsung monitor, a PS5, just to name a few. That is, if you can solve the puzzles, like this Enigma one that I had trouble figuring out. Head over to go.tech slash btccal to check it out, and remember, it's only until the 2nd of December. All right, so that's it. Now you should know how to kind of get started with web scraping. And my goal with this video was, again, just to make a video that is somewhat interesting to watch. And the goal there is just basically to make a tutorial video that people who know how to do this would still be interested in watching, or that would be still be entertaining for people like that to watch and simultaneously create a really high quality, high value tutorial that actually teaches you all that you need to know to, to get started with web scraping. So I hope I was able to do that. It's not the easiest thing to do. So uh, yeah, I really appreciate that you stayed this long if you've done that. Uh, it really means a lot for the YouTube algorithm with the watch time and all that stuff. So thank you for that. And I hope I was able to teach you something with this video and I, that it gave you some sort of value and yeah, now I'm just rambling, so this that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.